in this video we will learn how to implement MVM architecture in the project in order to understand the MVM architecture how it looks like I have downloaded a simple picture from the internet it shows us how to how MVM architecture works between layers so the first layer is the view which which either can be fragment or activity so the user can see as a screen so the second layer will be the model and the third layer will be repository so activity and fragment will depend on the v model and v model will depend on the repository and the repository will depend on the data source we will get the data from the data source through the repository and will pass that data to the view model and we will model will pass data through the live data or the flow to the fragment or the activity in order to manage the UI states as well. In, in such a case, if the configuration changes or rotate screen happen, so the data cannot can be lost or maintain the data even if the configuration changes happen. So that's how the MVM architecture will work. Now to implement this to the project, so the first thing I will need a data source. I will create a package name it data inside the data i will create another package which is called repository inside the repository i will create a file which will be repository and it will be as an interface i will create a sample function which will uh, get nodes in the meantime I will just change into the string so later on we will change into the node and we create the model class for it now I will also need another class which will be a repository implementation it's better to rename it with the feature name like node we want to not so it should be like not repository and also let's change to that that not repository implementation so we will implement that not repository in not repository implementation and we'll override the function now we have the repository created Now another thing is to have a model class for it. I will create another class which is called model and also will create a data class for it which will be called node. Inside node we want to have fields called id. We also want to have text and date. I want the date as a timestamp so it will store as a timestamp on the file store in the document so that node is model is created now let's change that node okay now the second thing is to have a view model. I will create a view model which will call not view model. We will inherit from the view model class. And also we need a dependency of the repository. We will create a function get nodes will return list node return repository
it not. Now in the fragment, we will need the model instance. So there are some extension library which provide extension function to get the instance of the model. For that purpose we will add that libraries to the gradle file from another project in order to save time and paste it there now i will import that class Now we have the view model instance right now. So to pass that data from the view model to the fragment or activity, we will require live data. To implement live data, let me show you how live data works inside the view model. We will first create as a mutable instance of the live data and make it as a private. So which can be responsible inside the view model to make changes to that live data and for exposing that live data we will create another instance to get that mutable object and as a live data simple live data so that can be editable from outside of the view model so that's a good practice to adopt that now I'll just set that data to the live data to get data from the repository we call that function oops we get the error because the return type is a list node and we set the live data to data type is a node so we will just change that to list node now the error is gone now we don't need return type as a list node so as we get nodes from the repository we set to the live data and Let's observe the live data inside the fragment. So that's how the ML simple architecture is working. In the fragment, we just let me add another line to get the nodes. So in the fragment, we have an instance of not view model. So the fragment is dependent on the view model to get the data. So I will go there functions, and in the node get nodes, we calling the get nodes uh, in the function inside the repository. So the view model is dependent on the repository to get the data, and that node function is implemented in the node repository implementation, and from there we will get data from firebase and then return data so that's how the simple implementation of MVM architecture work 